I enjoy looking at Ambadas's work in search of any clues that there might be in the way he uses oil paint, kerosene and varnish, which causes the colors to disperse. So what you get is strokes within brush strokes, kind of linear formation within the painting that itself becomes very exciting and it's a technique that is peculiar to Ambadas himself. Ambadas, right from the start of his career, uh, preferred to work in the abstract mold. For him, this translated into one of many things. Critics found in it, for example, furrowed land. Were these landscapes that he was creating? We don't know, because he refused to talk about these works in any sense. Uh, even when he went to Oslo, where he lived for the latter part of his career, the colors that he worked with and the kind of brush strokes and layering that he created were reminiscent of the works that he was doing in India in the 60s. His choice of colors, even while he lived in Scandinavia, remained warm. As to his choice of the abstract subject itself, he provided no referencing. There was nothing you could make out in terms of what he could possibly have been thinking of. There were often squiggles in the work, at times large sweeps of brush strokes, possibly lunar landscapes, or was he looking at amoebas? Was he going underwater in search of uh, a subject that he might want to paint? What were these spaces? What were these places? These mysteries that he created remain his great strength. <laughs>